Hey everyone, my name is Austin Burbridge. I'm with the Van Meters Automation Support Team. And today we're going to learn about the PowerFlex 753. We're going to program a digital start, a digital stop, look at our speed reference command, and a few other basic introductions to our PowerFlex 750 drive. First, we're going to program our digital input stop. Our stop's going to be controlled by our red push button over here. As you can see, our drive is currently in stop mode. Stop mode means we're going to be able to change our parameters to what we need them to. We're also in auto and then F for forward. This tells us about we are our PowerFlex 753 parameters. Um, you'll notice that we do have a 00, zero in the image of the drive on the left hand side. If you go left and right using the 4 and 6 button, you'll see that our port changes and we talk about different devices inside of the drive instead of just the drive itself. So while we're on the drive, we're going to hit our folder button down here by our start. From here, we've got our port zero PowerFlex drive. That's our main control board. Port one being our HIM model module on our front of the drive. Port 6 is the Ethernet card installed in our drive, and port 14 is the embedded device logics. We're going to stay on port 0, our PowerFlex 753, and we'll move over to the next folder using the 6 button. From here, we've got all of our PowerFlex drive parameters. We've got linear list, file group, change parameter, and parameter access level. Linear list would be a way for us to navigate between our parameters if we know our parameter numbers, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to you know the thousands that this drive has. Today, since we don't have the manual in front of us, we're gonna go file group. File group is gonna be a way to more easily navigate your parameters without having to know the exact parameter number. From file and group, we wanna look in our feedback and I.O. Again, I.O. is how we're doing our start stop. And then we are looking at digital input functions, that second option down, and assign functions to our inputs and outputs. You see we have a variety of options here, enable, clear, fault. We're gonna to continue to go down until we find a digital input stop. We'll hit enter and see that it is currently disabled. We're going to edit that parameter. Again, we can only edit if we're in stopped. So since our drive is not running, that edit is available for us to select. And now we're gonna choose where we are going to stop our drive from. It's gonna come from our embedded PowerFlex 753. Our digital input status and our red push button is assigned to bit zero, terminal block zero, input zero. We'll hit enter and see that we have it fully assigned. Next, we're gonna program a digital input start that's gonna come from our green push button over here. All right, to assign our green push button as the start input, again, we will hit our folders button next to start. It remembers from last time that we were in the device parameter folder and the file group. That's fine. Or find this section if you are somewhere else. Again, we want to go to feedback and I.O. From feedback and I.O. we go to our digital input functions because we want to find our next function, start. And then we scroll down until we find DI start. And then we will hit enter. Again, digital input start by default is disabled. We will edit and assign that to our next push button. Again, it's on and wired to our PowerFlex 753 main control board and it is wired to terminal block one, bit one, for our start. 
And lastly, we're gonna program our speed reference control. Our speed reference control is going to come from our zero to 10 volt input over here. The speed reference is gonna be how we control the speed of the drive. Again, we hit the folder button by start and get to that file group selection. We're gonna to have to scroll down a little further now and find our speed control file and hit enter with the five button. And from our speed control, we'll find our speed reference. And from our speed reference group, our first option, speed reference A selection. We'll hit enter. We can see here that currently we do have a speed reference selection set is our port PowerFlex 753 and then parameter one port one reference. What that means for us is that it is currently the HIM module that's setting our speed reference. We could type in a number and our motor would go to that speed. We're gonna change that out and instead utilize our zero to 10 volt analog input signal. We'll scroll down until we find that reference. Analog input zero value and enter. See so it's still in our PowerFlex 753 and our P0260 is our analog input zero value. And we definitely can't forget the most important parameters we're gonna to have to utilize. That is gonna be our motor data parameters. We need to make sure that the drive is expecting the correct motor type. It's gonna be our second file, motor control. And from motor control, our first group is motor data. And inside of motor data, we have our motor nameplate volts, amps, hertz, nameplate rotations per minute, RPM, our power units, and our power value. We will need to set all of these parameters before we test out any application, so that way our drive is running the correct size motor. Once you have those all entered in, then we can look at doing tests on our application. Now that we have our speed reference and digital input start and stop uh, programmed in, we can run a test sequence here. If I hit our green start button, we should see on the HIM module that our drive starts accelerating. What value is it accelerating to? Well, that's depending on our analog input. If we do a zero to 10 volt signal, we're giving a zero to 60 hertz output. So as I increase all the way up to 10 volts, we will get 60 hertz on the output side. And if we hit the red stop button, that will send a stop command for the drive to decelerate to a controlled stop. We can run these tests without the drive being hooked to the motor. Uh, that's a good way for us to know if the motor or if the drive is bad. Since we're getting good output signal, even though we don't have a motor connected, it is still a functional drive that we can test out. As you can see for our demo unit here, we do not have a motor actually attached to the drive. This will not impede the drive's ability to output a uh, frequency. Uh, this means that we're able to troubleshoot this drive and set up and program this drive without the motor needing to be attached. It's also a great troubleshooting method of you to be able to determine if the motor or if the drive is bad. If the drive is working without the motor attached, then the drive is good and we have some issues in cabling or with the motor. All right guys, thanks for sticking with me. Again, that was our PowerFlex 753 drive. We went through our digital stop, digital start, speed command, and uh, feel free to reach out to uh, my team or any other VanMeter employee if you have any questions on our drives. Thank you.